Out of all the, all the programs I've been involved in, this one seems to be the most interesting and, and, and the most professional. I, I just tell the kids, I mean, you know, come to the gym, you know, explore it, you know, meet some new friends, get off the street, you know, let's go for a better life. The history of the club, it started in uh, like the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it was started by um, another group of people, um, which my cousin was involved for a lot of years, um, and Joe Kalman, who's been with the club originally for a long time. A friend of mine, actually, uh, Norman Fraser, he was, when I met him, he was training at the Y, and uh, he invited me to go down, so uh, I went down with him. And then after, you know, we both moved on from boxing, got married and had kids, and as his kids grew up, they wanted to box. So that's what started us in the boxing program. So we started training at his house, and uh, down at the old Dutton Airport, in fact. And then we decided there was a lot more kids that wanted to box. We needed to get a gym. So, you know, we, we got a gym over on Stevens Street, and, uh, and then we realized it, it got big. We needed more help, so we formed the board of directors to help run it. And uh, that, that building got condemned, so uh, we eventually ended up moving up onto High Street with the same group of, group of people. And uh, then the funding kind of uh, kind of uh, run out, and uh, they had done it a lot of years, a lot of great service. But, you know, uh, from that point, uh, Joe Ferguson had joined the team. And that's when I came in and started training, learning the, learning the trade and everything like that. And, uh, and it closed because of financial reasons, and then for three years we you know, dug in and tried to raise money and, and become a nonprofit and to find a place, which we did here and down in Lafayette Square. We actually we kept training the kids for the, for the Golden Gloves and whatnot, and uh, we were training in the parking lot of Lowe's and wherever we could, jumping in and out of gyms. It took a long time and a couple of years but we finally found a home right here, Lafayette Square. And, you know, we've worked hard to get this up, and, and this is a great gym. Out of all the gyms, this, this, this is uh, the best one we've had so far as far as uh, equipment and quality. Kids that come in, not just kids that want to box. There's other programs available here, too. There's after-school tutoring. One of the guys in charge, Joe Ferguson, everybody in town knows him. They know he's a great guy. They know he's been at this for years, trying to help kids, and that's what he's all about. And as a teacher, that's what we're all about too. So when I met Joe a couple of years back and heard what he was doing, I knew right then I wanted to be part of it. So I um, started out just working out here, and now we're doing some tutoring stuff, trying to help kids with what I know best, which is cracking the books, you know. And Joe teaches them about cracking the bags. <laughs> So we just started this school year with um, just being here on Tuesdays. We're here right after school for them at three o'clock and we go till about five o'clock when the boxing starts. And we're just there to give them whatever they need. You know, if they're having trouble with homework, um, if they wanna work on getting into college, the college essay, if they wanna prep for a test, here to help them with all of it. And obviously I'm best at English, but if they come in and they wanna know about science, we can get them online, we can show them some resources online that are all free so that they can start to teach themselves, really. Me and, and Haverhill Inner City Boxing, we have the same mission and the same, you know, uh, values, and we're trying to do the same thing in, in this community. And when I met Joe, I, I was at, I was actually at another boxing gym in this area that closed down and uh, I was talking with Joe one day, you know, we kind of approached each other and it kind of knew each other a little bit, you know, from the work that both of us had been doing in the Haverhill area and started talking with him. And I just, you know, I, I knew it was a match made in heaven. You know, I, I knew that we were out there doing the same thing for the kids in the Haverhill area. And, uh, you know, I, I I started with Haverhill Inner City Boxing probably close to four years ago. Now I'm a trainer here at the gym, 
But uh, I do things a little bit different being in the martial arts. I, I try to teach the kids real life lessons, something different every week, um, boost their morale, give them confidence, you know, teach them honor, respect, discipline. Basically, it's a, a group of guys that, you know, they come here and they, um, they have the best intentions for everybody. You know what I mean? We're here to, uh, well, I, I'm going to include myself in, in, in the pack and say that we're all here to help uh, any ch uh, children, any, uh, any teenagers that, that are willing to come in here and, and have some structure in their life and have some, you know what I mean, be critiqued for the things that they're doing wrong so that they can empower themselves and build confidence and, 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 build, and build strength in their overall character by coming into the gym. It's not just a gym where, where, where brutes go to to hit a bag. There's much more to it, you know what I mean? You have to coexist and, co and go, go along with everybody that, uh, that comes to the gym and, and you have to abide by the rules that are, that are in place at the gym. So all the guys that are here, you know what I mean? Most of these guys are all voluntary workers, you know what I mean? They're all here uh, doing this because this is something that they love. So. Anybody that, you know what I mean, that, 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 that does that, this type of work, to me in my eyes is golden, you know what I mean? There's people that, that, that have nothing to gain other than the, the appreciation of, of the kids that might not even appreciate it at the time. But the older they get, with more discipline, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll understand and they'll appreciate it later on. As a young kid coming up in an urban community, you come up, you have no structure, no discipline. Most, most guys that come up from the same background not all, but most guys, they can fall into, into the, the, the traps of life. I used to get on the street, get in trouble, but since then I've just been all good on the street. And then with school, the education, and in addition with the teachers, my grades. Me, I was very disrespectful to my mom. I used to get in trouble, a lot of street fights. Then since then, since I joined boxing, it's just like everything stay away. Like I know people on the street, but I don't hang out with them as like how I used to before. I don't get in street fights. Uh, me and my mom got like a bigger relationship now, and um, it just helps me a lot. They gained some, um, you know, some strength from it really. Um, they built confidence for them. Um, they're, um, you know, they communicate with people better. They seem, some of them seem to be, you know, helping out in the community. Um, some of them gotten jobs through us, through here, and. You know, uh, as far as uh, having the right people in here, doing the right things with the kids, giving them the right motivation, uh, watching out for them, making sure there's no bullying going on in our gym, that they work together as a team. It's quite a thing that we have going here. You know, I like it, you know, comfortable here. We want to stay a long time, and, and our goal is to, you know, not, not find the next world champion, not the next Golden Glover. Our goal is to keep kids off the street, give them a place to go. You know, they're hanging on the corners, and we learned that of, uh, of the, at the last place. You know, we had 20 kids in the ring fighting, but we had another 20 outside the ring who just wanted to watch, just needed a place to go. And, uh, and, and there were different opinions up there on, on, on how we should handle that. Some were like, oh, if they don't box, they can't stay. So we wanted to open this club without uh, turning anybody away, you know. Whether they want to be boxers or, you know, they just want to go in the other room, sit at the desk and study, or they just want to go on the treadmills and run, or they ju just want to sit on the benches and, and watch the boxing that goes on in the ring. So long as, you know, uh, everybody follows the rules, we have a list of rules that they sign up for and they agree to. The kids that stay here, they um, mostly do their workout. We train them. Uh, we try to get them ready to compete. Um, some of them will never compete. Uh, we have a couple of kids now that do compete and um, they're, you know, they're, they're just, uh, the, the kids uh, here, to, the kids that come here today basically come here to have fun. And they're, they, you know, they look up to us, we try to mentor them and everything. So it, they keep coming back and they enjoy, you know, we, they enjoy everything that we're doing for them. <laughs> Start them at 10 years old, and it's free from 10 to 14. Once they hit high school, then it's $10 a month for them if they can afford it. If they don't, we have financial papers, and we can get help with that. And then when they hit the age of 18, it's $20 a month. So you know, it's still 
very reasonable rate. The club, uh, it's been open for just about two years now, and um, we've been pretty successful, uh, you know, doing fundraisers, getting some donations for the place. Uh, we've had over, I'd say about 170 kids come through the place in just a little less than two years. Um, probably have about maybe 20, 20 kids that are all, always here. Um, they come in every day, uh, Monday through uh, Friday. And um, we have another in bunch of kids in and out, probably like 40 kids in and out, and then the rest just never come in. People can get involved in all different ways. Um, they can help get kids to come here. Um, they can, you know, w we have other people that are involved, like school teachers. Um, people can get involved by donating, which is the biggest thing, uh, trying to keep the club uh, going. You know, we're just 100% nonprofit. You know, it's, everything goes right, in, right back into the club. We always give a show. We, if they help us and they want a show, we'll give them the show. We never back down from anything. One of the things that I noticed working in the school system was that a lot of these kids, they're having a hard time, whether it be because they're coming from a single parent's household, they don't have enough money. There's, there's a lot of different situations, but. The fact of the matter is, one of the things that I think I, I'd like to get across to any, any child or teenager out there that's having a hard time is that we all go through that. You know what I mean? Only because we're adults doesn't mean that we don't have hard times. The older you get, the more problems you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna have to face. So don't take it out and don't be negative, like on, uh, on, don't be negative towards other people. I've been doing it, I don't know, 25 years or more, and a lot of kids come back and say, you know, you wouldn't believe, you know, the changes you made in my life. It's sort of like Martin Luther King said, he, he told me a long time ago, like, you do good things because it makes you feel good, you know? If it helps other people, that's nice. That's a good side effect. But the main reason to do good things is because you'll feel good after. I, I'm just hoping to leave behind um, just a lot of um, good things for the kids, you know. Uh, it's, it's not for me, it's for them, you know, and I just want them to always have this place to be able to come to, you know, when they're in trouble or they need to, you know, make their lives better. This, this is, it, it's not about me, it's not about any other trainers, it's about the kids. So that's what we want to leave behind is this place to be open and always available to kids that are having issues out in the street or even the kids that aren't. Prevent them from having those issues. You know, we're in Lafayette Square, uh, right above KC Carpet, and uh, just come in. We open the doors Monday through Thursday. We're open to the public. Uh, Fridays is reserved for the, for the team that's, uh, that's, in, that's in competition. Uh, so any, right now, any Tuesday, three to five, and I think Thursdays at six, they're doing Latin, if that's your thing too. So those are all we got right now because we're, we're trying to build it up, get some more interest. The more kids we have, the more teachers will be willing to volunteer. And the goal is have it every day, every day after school, have them um, have three to five to hit the books and then five to seven to hit the bags, you know, so that they're safe, they're off the streets, you know, and they're doing something productive. If anybody wants to get involved, they can just give me a call and we can work something out or figure something out for them. Um, hard work every day. Every day is hard work. It's not easy, but if you can take it, if you can take the first day, it will be easy forever.